In this video, we are going to add a shopping cart to our shopping app. Also, we will practice managing the state of the cart items with a provider. This is a good chance for you if managing state with provider is still not clear to you. First thing, let's refactor our provider folder. Let's put product provider and the product model into one folder. Let's create a new folder and put it here. Refactor. Now let's create a new folder and name it Cart Provider. Now we need to manage a new kind of data which is our card and card items. So we need to create a new Dart file and name it Cart Provider. And here we will create a class called Cart, which will extend change notifier to be able to use notify listeners with changes. Now our card needs a card items, so let's create a card item model in the same page. Card item is just a class that describes our card items, how it looks like in our showing app. It's going to have a final ID and a final title and a final price and the final quantity. Now let's create the constructor of this class. And here, let me show you a cool trick. I promise you, you won't find this trick easily anyway. And I'm giving it to you for free. So do me a favor and subscribe and like my videos. Now I'm going to show you how to create a constructor so fast. First, we added the constructor name and we'll use named parameters. Here we have four variables. And instead of writing this dot four times, no, let's press enter four times. One, two, three, because we have four variables. Go up there and press option and shift to Mac and press on the four lines. One, two, three. Watch out. Now feel free to leave options and shift buttons. And now watch. Write just once all your this. T H I K and dot. What? Cool, right? And now you can do this so fast. ID and comma and a title and comma and a price and we forget the comma and of course quantity. If you see here, you need uh, to add a require so we can do this again. Press shift and option one, two, three. And now we can write a require. What? That's like insanely easy. No. Wow. Wow. With these tricks, you are an awesome developer. Now here in the card class, we will create a map for our card item, where the key is the ID of the card item, not the product that we are showing, it's just for the card item. And it says we don't, we can't say leave it amount, so let's give it an empty map. And after that, let's add a getter to return our items. And of course, we need a setter that's adding a product ID and the price and the title. And the quantity will be always one item at a time. And the quantity will be always one item at a time. Now we check if our map contains a product ID. If it's true, just increase the quantity by one. And to do that, we are updating our map here using update function then passing the product, then passing the key and the value, which in our case here, a card item. Don't change, notify listeners that you are updating or add a new item. But if the map don't contain our product ID, we need to use else to add a new entry to that map, whereas the key is the product ID and the value is a new card item. So the key is a product ID and here we are returning a new card item. We don't need this and we need a simple new. And don't forget notify listeners. We are using string as a unique ID for now and can be changed later. One more thing, let me add a function that returns the total item price so we can use it later. Then let's define the total, which what we are returning. Now we will look on our map of items with for each to calculate the total price. And we will calculate price for all quantities for each item and add its value to existing value of the total with using a plus followed by an equal symbol, like that. 
Now we want to get the value of price and multiply it with the quantity. But here our price is a string, so parsing it to a double by using this function and returning the total and we finished up. That's it. Now we can use our new data provider, but first we should know where to use this data. We are gonna to use it in the app bar of our main shopping app here in pop-up menu bottom and in the grid products item here to add the products to card win press and card icon and in grid product item when we are pressing card button to add a new product to our cart and later we will add a check screen or a card screen to see what is in our cart okay that means that we need to provide card data on the top of our main showing screen if we go to main dart we need to add a provider in my home page just in above of main showing screen we could grab our change notify provider with another change notify provider but this will be so ugly so instead we are using a multi provider so we can just take this our change notifier and delete this child and the child of multi provider will be our main showing screen and inside provider we will add as much providers as we want so let's duplicate change into buy provider here and instead of creating a product object we are returning a card object and we need to import the place of it and cool everything is working now and don't forget to set main showing screen here as a child of multi uh, providers now we can listen to card class from anywhere in our application below this widget here so the first place we are gonna to use card provider is in grid product item so in the build method let's duplicate this line here to use it and change this to card and this to card and don't forget to import the package place or where it's in our project architecture now we have access to card object that we provided earlier now in shopping cart icon button we can call cart.add item and provide product id title and price here we are using a cart followed by the dot and now we have access to our add item we can use this product here to pass an id and a title product.title and the price cool right second place to use card provider in card screen so let's create a card screen file here and i will quickly build the screen so we don't waste our time so let's return a scaffold with an app bar and in the body let's show the total price with a card inside a column it's time to make a connection to our card provider so in the build method here let's add a, a connection or let's establish an, a connection to our provider here and give it a name of card now let's replace the hard code value of the total price to a real value by using our card here card the total price to pay dot to spring now let's add dollar sign here or to show a dollar symbol now before we run our app let's set the navigation in our app bar icon in the card screen so let's define a static constant id for our card screen here and here in the main the dark let's put this root in the material app and tell him about this package or this class and after that we go here to our app bar of our main shopping app here in main shopping app we need uh, an icon here so in the actions let's add a new icon button here with an icon of shopping cart let's hot reload now it's here so in the on press we navigate to screen item and let him know what's a card screen now if we hot reload our application now we have a problem with our provider when changing to a new route and to fix this we need to put our providers above material app so it can be a globally accessed from anywhere in the application actually from any route in our application and this is the case with a provider if you are using or dealing with a new route or a new screen and to fix this we need to move this multi-providers here so let's 
take all of this here and here returning a multi provider with a child material app but here we need to add another francis pre-run app now if we press here it's working if we try to add a product here and a product every cell phone of this equal one thousand dollars so it should be two thousand and it's working great let's stop here and take a coffee break and see you in the next video bye